I already recognize uh, some of the faces, most of the faces, and know most of the names. Je reconnais déjà plusieurs visages ce soir et je connais même vos prénoms. So it's a good sign. We are becoming a family. C'est un bon signe. Nous devenons de plus en plus proches. Yeah. And I have been missing you. Et vous m'avez vraiment beaucoup manqué. It was so good to see a number of you also at I Thirst Campari. J'étais aussi ravi de pouvoir rencontrer certains d'entre vous au Jamboree en Australie. One. Um, I hope you all enjoyed this experience. J'espère que vous avez tous apprécié cette expérience. It was hot and there was not enough water for all. Il faisait chaud et il n'y avait pas suffisamment d'eau pour tout le monde. But we all enjoyed it. Mais nous avons tous profité de cette expérience. Mm -hmm. uh, this whole week is going to be dedicated to the quality of our relationships. Nous allons dédier toute cette semaine à la qualité de nos relations. We will be looking at the relationships within the church, within the families, and within the communities. Nous allons nous pencher sur l'aspect relationnel au sein de l'église, au sein de nos foyers, de nos familles. I also want to um, acknowledge and affirm the administration of uh, French Polynesian Mission. Je voudrais aussi remercier l'administration de notre mission politique française for their vision, for their strategic direction in investing in the church members. Pour la vision, pour la planification stratégique qui a été mise en place et le fait d'avoir investi pour sur nos églises. So next time you see Pastor Gillo, Pastor Roger, or Riri, come and tell them we appreciate your ministry. Donc la prochaine fois que vous rencontrerez nos administrateurs, dites-leur merci pour le travail qu'ils font. And I have the best team here to work with. Et j'ai une des meilleures équipes ici avec qui je travaille. Pastor Patrice, Nilda, Sylvie, and Mariella, beautiful team. Nilda, Sylvie, et Mariella, belle équipe. They also work as a family. And I want to acknowledge them also for organizing this um, uh, whole series so we can spend time together learning about relationships. And as we go through the week, we will be looking at how you in your local churches can set up your life uh, ministry, family life ministry, so it helps the church. Et donc durant cette semaine, nous allons travailler ensemble, trouver des méthodes ensemble pour que vous puissiez mettre en place et fonctionner dans, dans, dans vos églises, faire fonctionner les départements de vie de famille, d'enfants, etc. Very often, with good intentions, we have so many ministries that we actually prevent from functioning well because we are so busy. Souvent, nous, sommes, nous, nous avons mis en place beaucoup de départements, mais nous sommes tellement occupés que nous n'arrivons pas à les faire fonctionner correctement. And we are in a church, but we are not a family. Nous sommes dans l'église, mais nous ne vivons pas en famille. And at times, Sabbath is the saddest and the busiest day in the week. Et souvent même, le sabbat devient la journée la plus triste, la journée la plus occupée de la semaine. So at times we are not good seventh day Adventists. But we are very good church goers. We go to church and we do it well. But we will be learning how we can minister so we actually appeal to the family and have relationships. Mais nous allons apprendre ensemble comment est-ce que nous pouvons travailler ensemble pour, pour élever ces départements, ces ministères. Can I um, ask those people who minister in family, youth, children, women and men, if you are part of this team, put your hand up, I want to see you. J'aimerais demander à uh, toutes les personnes qui sont responsables de ce département, vie de famille, jeunesse, enfants, femmes, de bien vouloir lever la main. Because we are on the same team. Parce que nous faisons partie de la même équipe. Thank you. I want to affirm you and say thank you for your ministry. Donc ce soir, j'aimerais aussi prendre le temps de vous remercier et de vous encourager dans votre ministère. Let's spend this time together learning how we can perform our ministry even better. Nous allons apprendre ensemble comment nous pouvons fonctionner de manière efficace 
observem outra ministra. But our series will also speak to any church member who wants to enjoy better quality of relationships. Mas a série nos diz que a todos os membros da igreja que estão a melhorar as relações ao sair da sua família, ao sair da sua vida, incluindo men, men e mulheres, men e mulheres, porque as mulheres não têm problemas, Pastor Patrice. Não têm problemas, não têm problemas, não têm problemas. That is why we don't have men's ministries. Se lá não for aquele minha pastor de parte de mulheres, because only women seem to have all the issues. Se vocês estão no olhar que eu sou bom nisso sim. And I know men are now saying, "Are you listening?" And just say, "You listen, men know that the reviews are reviews. You look, you look skinny." When a couple come to the pastor with an issue, family relationship issue, souvent lorsqu'un couple vient rencontrer le pasteur avec un souci, un problème avec lui, pas the the man, the gentleman will say, "Pastor, can you help us with the problem?" L'homme dira, "Pasteur, est-ce que tu peux nous aider avec notre problème?" And the pastor will say, "So what's the problem?" Et le pasteur dira, "Quel est le souci?" And the man says, "She is the problem." Et l'homme dira, "C'est mon épouse qui est le souci." She's not the problem. I don't have any problems. She seems to complain all the time. C'est elle qui a le souci. C'est elle qui se plaint tout le temps. And men are very task-oriented. Yeah, they they are very, very much to the core of the issue. Et souvent les hommes se concentrent plus sur le cœur du problème. But can I talk to the men a little bit? J'aimerais ce soir m'adresser un instant aux hommes. The study says that about 85% of, of all our joys, de toutes les joies, comes from relationships. relations And how you perform in relationships affects how you perform in life. Et la manière dont vous vivez chacune de ces relations va affecter votre vie. If you perform in your relationships at home well, donc si vous avez une relation saine au sein de votre foyer, you will perform at work better. Vous allez travailler de manière plus efficace à votre lieu de travail. And if you know how to deal with relationships at work, et si vous savez comment gérer les relations à sur votre lieu de travail, your wages will start to grow. Votre salaire va augmenter aussi. Seriously, there was a study that proved this fact. Seriously, it was a study that proved this fact. And we will learn about some of those things during this week. And so, tout au long de cette semaine, nous allons apprendre de ces choses. So, this whole series I call emotionally healthy Christian. Et donc, j'ai intitulé cette cette série de cette semaine un chrétien émotionnellement émotionnellement bon santé. I'd like for our clients to be more interactive. Just to tell you that each of these moments must be the moment interactive. So tomorrow afternoon we will have more time to talk and discuss various issues. So tomorrow afternoon, for example, we will have more time to talk and discuss various issues. And we will have more time to talk and discuss various issues. And we will be interacting to and fro, so you can ask questions, you can agree or disagree. Donc demain nous aurons un échange, vous pourrez être d'accord, vous pourrez être pas d'accord. So we'll keep, uh, we'll keep it 60% interactive and then 40% of me uh, delivering uh, information. Donc ce sera 40% de, de messages, 60% de partage. At the end of each session, you will be given a little booklet with the notes handout. À la fin de chaque session, vous recevrez un petit livre avec les notes. So you will have the main gist of each session to take home. Et donc vous aurez un résumé de chaque session pour vous apprendre à la maison. Tonight we don't need it because we are setting a stage. It's an introductory session. You don't need a handout, but you can keep notes. Je sens que nous n'aurons pas ce livre parce que nous allons essayer de poser un fondement pour la suite de cette semaine. So what I want us to do now is to turn to wherever you are sitting, one or two, and share the following. Donc ce que nous allons faire à présent, vous allez vous mettre en groupe de deux. Vous allez faire un petit partage ensemble. What is, and you see the questions there. What is the most challenging? 
and then the easiest aspect in your relationships. Donc vous voyez les questions là-dedans, quels quel, quel sont les aspects les plus faciles et les plus difficiles dans vos relations. And then share your opinion on the very last uh, question here. If there was one simple principle that would resolve all the relationship issues, what would it be? Et sur le dernier point, vous allez partager votre opinion avec votre camarade, votre, votre ami. S'il y avait un principe à mettre en place, un seul principe, quel serait ce principe Ok. So let's take three minutes, not more than uh, more than that. All you need to do is the hardest thing in relationship, the easiest, and the principle that you think should help in relationships. Donc, vous avez trois minutes, trois minutes d'échange, de discussion. L'aspect le plus difficile, l'aspect le plus facile dans nos relations et aussi le principe, un seul principe qu'on pourrait appliquer pour améliorer nos relations. Ok, let's take three minutes. Just wherever you are sitting, uh, have a little discussion. Là où vous êtes ainsi, ne vous déplacez pas, partagez, discutez. Thank you, and then I will call you to come and uh, join together again.